Ladies and gentlemen, fight number four this evening will be contested in the welterweight division over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 76.4 kilos and trains out of Crash MMA, holding an amateur record of two wins for two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Quinn Kelly. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 76.5 kilos and trains out of Scrappy MMA. Holding an undefeated MMA record of two wins for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lawrence, the Manchild Whitesmith. Man, they call the bull in the middle for this three by three minute welterweight bout. They touch gloves, and here we go. Lawrence Whitesmith. Respect to start versus Quinn Kelly. Here we go. Uh, Lawrence looking at, oh nice, Lawrence looking to see that jab started at the start there. Really pop it off in his face, he's nice and sharp. Look at those leg kicks as well. Trading heavy leg kicks early on. These gentlemen start the feeling out process. Very fast, sharp jab there by Lawrence. Oh, Quinn Kelly starting to find a bit of momentum there. La Lawrence Whitesmith doesn't seem bothered though, Kyle. Uh, very composed. Nice, goes back to sticking that jab again, looking for that low kick. Beautiful low calf kick there. And He's got strong legs. Look at the size of his calves as well. His big, strong legs. Good to see some of the uh, the bigger men on the card here tonight. Head kick blocked by Whitesmith. And you can almost see shades of uh, his training partner and coach in the corner, Jack Della. Nice and tight boxing, Kyle. Both guys looking very sharp right now. Both guys having their moment. Kelly just gliding out of the way there. Whitesmith starting to find his reach, but Kelly pressing the action as a straight left hand relies right down the pipe. Ooh, That's a big, big right, right hand. hand. And Lawrence Whitesmith doesn't, doesn't even seem bothered by that. Nonetheless, Quinlan Kelly looking to press the action up against the cage now. Quinn Kelly's in a great position right now. He's got an underhook, he's got a great head position. Be able to keep him pressed against the cage there and, and, and really let some knees go. Lawrence with his own knee up the middle there. Great strikes on the exchange there. And as they separate and take center cage, here at Eternal 63, Whitesmith goes low, Kelly goes high. Good movement shown by both gentlemen, especially so early in their careers, Cole. Yeah, both guys look super sharp right now. Both having their moments, like I said, are both sticking the jab. Whitesmith really relying on that jab right now. See a little blood coming out of his nose. He must have got a big strut. Courtesy of Quinn Kelly. Quinn Kelly doing a little bit of stalking, controlling the cage right now. Well, he's very patient is Lawrence Whitesmith as they both land there. Good left hook by Whitesmith. But Kelly, again, just that pressure as he lands a nice right hand. Legal, but just behind the ear. <laughs> You see White now pushing him against the cage. Kelly just able to turn him around. Seems to be a little bit stronger right now. Yeah, great reversal there by Quinn Kelly as we oh, count nice down the knees. final 10 seconds of round number one. We'll, uh, for the first time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we may... <laughs> see a second. Oh, don't speak too soon. Speak too. Sure the same will go for Quinn Good. Kelly. Do it again. The team at Crash MMA. Giving him their best words. Can he execute here in round number two? Both guys starting off exactly where they left off in the last round. Trolling the distance. Yeah. Nice that's a double shot. leg. Beautiful cut the, cut the corner there. He's able to take the back. Quinn Kelly able to stand up though and have a little bit of a hand fight now. Great nice. takedown by Lawrence as he... Oh, Lawrence looking to get that choke. So a nice job of weaving his leg through through uh, Kelly's leg there to stop him from turning into him. Well, he's the glove. Also controlling that wrist to see that wrist control. Sneaky uppercut there by Lawrence. And again. Quinn Kelly. Quinn Kelly doing Quinn his best to try here. and turn into him, but just can't escape. He's got uh, what? There we go. 
And this is the pressure Beautiful we've seen double leg. from Lawrence as he takes him for a ride. Down goes Kelly, but straight back up. Straight to his said, feet. Kyle, the strength of Kelly coming into play here in round number two. He looks, he does look like the stronger guy, but you know, Lawrence Weissman, he's, he's, he's very sharp and he's very onto it. You know, he's, I'd like to see some more of that grappling from more of those double legs. Oh, that's a big right hand. Oh, he got the attention of Whitesmith as he shoots go. again. Quinn Kelly just one step ahead here in round number two. Yeah, Quinn Kelly's got him backing up a little bit with his fakes and feints, and, and Whitesmith just doesn't know where they're coming from right now. Well, he's keeping him guessing, isn't he, Kyle? Still he's, he's going low. And yep. Still sharp. Uh, Whitesmith's still looking to... Uh, you know, he's still looking great. He's still looking sharp on the feet. Bit of a flash in the pan there from both men. <laughs> Watsmith goes low again. Unsuccessful. He's on that single leg now. If he can switch it up for a double, maybe. Drop his, drop his level. He's corner calling for that underhook to stop him from dropping for a double. And this is good pressure from Watsmith, especially if Quinn Kelly... And Seems to be getting the better of the exchanges on the feet. This is where Lawrence wants to keep the fight, Kyle. Yeah, this is where Lawrence needs to keep the fight, I think. He, the more he can pressure him against the cage and trying to cook him and take away a bit of that strength and then shoot for those doubles. Uh, he's, he's almost getting him. He's got a little bit of control. If he can just get him down as he goes. <laughs> nice little Kamara attempt there by Kelly. Little foot stomp. Both, Both guys. <laughs> <laughs> Both men. Oh! And that's a good move there by Lawrence Whitesmith. So he's using the cage now with his feet to sort of try and take his back. Push, and with just under 10 seconds left here in round number two, this is a good impression to leave on the judges as we count down the last seconds. Absolutely. You know, uh, Lawrence Whitesmith again with a big slam. Oh. Whitesmith versus Kelly. Right, good? Will they go good. the distance? Finish Whitesmith asked for that glove touch. Thank here we go. Both res Great respect shown by both guys. Well, let's find out here in round three. Whitesmith still looking sharp, still looking good. Both guys looking sharp still. Nice two. Oh, a head kick lands for Whitesmith. And that rocked Lawrence there. But he's, keep, he's keeping that poker face caught. And he's still got that pressure on. He's still in his face. He's still stalking him down. Looking for his own shot there. Nice jab. Nice shovel jab. One, two. And as we start to see Quinn Kelly loosen up, he lands a nice hand, right hand over the yeah, top and oh. followed by another. And Double. Lawrence looking to pressure now. Yeah, Lawrence back to the cage again, putting that pressure on the cage. That's what he needs to do. If he can get a body lock around him and try and take his back. Quinn Kelly, though, is able to nullify everything that he's doing quite well. And they separate once again. And, you know, we said that Kelly probably has the better of him in the stand-up exchanges. He's got an amateur boxing and kickboxing background, undefeated in both areas there and he's putting it on display here tonight yeah he, he looks very impressive on the feet right now and again two shots from lawrence swite smith's two stuffs heavy sprawls from queen kelly as he looks to press the action and we're halfway through this last round now so we need to see lawrence really shoot for those takedowns we'll need to see something special there we from go lawrence needs as to he drive again Beautiful on that single leg. You can just cut that corner, but Quinn Kelly oh. with that underhook. Beautiful move there from Lawrence. Oh, beautiful. Left hook on the exit there and straight in for another shot. Ryan Gray from the corner saying, we need this one. Can Lawrence Whitesmith get it? He's got the back now. Beautiful Kyle. back control now. He's got one hook in. He's going to look to get the other one in. Perfect. Now from here, if he needs to pepper him some shots, well, he's got to put that time. chin up. Yeah, he's got plenty of time left if he can just throw some shots. But uh, Quinn Kelly able to tripod up there. You want to be careful not to lose position. Want to sit back a little bit more on the hip so he doesn't fall off. Beautiful. Get that underhook to stop him from falling. Then he's got the body lock triangle on him now, so it's going to be hard for him to shake him off. Well, with just under 30 seconds left, there. can Quinn Kelly stay in this fight? Lawrence Whitesmith. As he looks to get under the chin there, didn't quite get it. Quinn Kelly was able to tuck his head and get back to his feet. Beautiful work there from Quinn Kelly. Great work from both guys. Little smile there from Lawrence Whitesmith. He's ready to go again. 
Well, the final 10 seconds has been signaled. A technical chess match we've seen here in this welterweight bout, and they'll trade to the end. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the bout 29 to 28 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Lawrence the Manchayo.